Hi everyone, me again, Big Rich, and I've got one kit I've finished. I finished a while ago actually, but I think I've, I think I'll show you. Why not? Here's, if I can zoom out a bit more, if I can, it is, whoa, the high new Gundam Verkar. Now, before we begin, I have a confession to make. This guy is not Bandai. It's Daiban, formerly known as TT Hongli, aka the knockoff kits. Now before you all hate me, feel free to hate me anyway, but before you all hate me for this, I built I think I've built enough Bandai kits over the years, thrown away enough of them, broken enough of them, and just generally bought enough of them to warrant this experiment with the knockoff kit. So with that out of the way, there he is. He's been, uh, you'll notice a lack of uh, funnels, I'll explain that in a moment. I made him in quite obviously the RX782 colour scheme, so I am calling this guy not New Gundam, I'm calling him Old Gundam. If you didn't hate me before, you're certainly hating me now for that obvious pun. Now, with this being a Diban kit, they give you a choice of inner frame, or inner frame, um, psycho frame. You can either have the typical uh, blue. But if you all know from watching Unicorn, red is unawakened, blue, green is awakened, it's not blue green. So I thought, why not? We'll be different and give him red psycho frame. And in there, you can't really see it because I've painted that red, but he just me it is there. And uh, I used some Gundam RX782 decals, see, white base and on you know, their Federation and not Londo Bell. And I put a white base instead of Londo Bell. Other than that, yeah, around the back, black, obviously I didn't use the stickers and I painted the blue on the legs, like excuse me while I try and try my right hand, come on, this paint is so unbelievably brittle. It's brittled up the plastic, the paint, there we go. There we go, let's just try that one. So yeah, chrome thrusters, painted them, painted the inner side yellow. And that one. And on the backpack, and as you can clearly see, what's broken? Those two pegs are broken. Those two pegs hold the rear armor of the, uh, the kit in, love that back panel piece, which holds the backpack in, which also holds the head on. Now a little bit of poly cement, you're laughing, but I haven't got around to that yet. So, at least this guy stands up. You can see the head, the LED unit, and the backpack. It gives me a perfect thing. The uh, stand. On this guy's absolute pain in the ass because he clips in there and well good luck ever getting that out without breaking it I probably will break it uh, yeah so getting back in we kind of have to slide this in and hope it works if I can do this one-handed I'm hard enough doing it two-handed there the other complaint about this kit is, look at that gap. That gap isn't supposed to be there. See, that's on more or less flush. But that's such a huge gap. It's just, it's, it's, it's this kit. All right, with it being Diaban and knockoff. We all know the knockoffs aren't good. Well, some of the third party kits are good, so I understand, but I'm not an expert in that. This kit, all on paper, seems pretty good. And I built another Diaban kit, which I have no desire to talk about. Um, and that was an absolute complete lump of you know what this kit on paper it seems pretty good the plastic all seems good quality you get double the amount of fin funnels you get even get double the amount of water slide decals and the water slide decals not as good as bandai's but they they are good i mean you can hardly see the film on the i'd be surprised if you even could but just lots of little things like the back breaking and and 
these fingers constantly falling off. I mean, I'm surprised I even lost them. And the reason I haven't got out the um, psycho frame on the legs, which is there, because when I was building it, I forgot to put them in here. Yeah, I forgot to put the psycho frame just, just here. It's like three pieces I forgot. But I'll do another day. And this kit for, I'm not a master grade guy, but I've built a lot of master grades and this one was just a bit, 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 bit too much for me. So I was just going to build it. Not a problem at all. Quite simply snap it off, put it together, not a problem. But because I was painting it and because I had an idea for it and yeah, it's got a bit too much for me. But anyway, these 3.0 hands, not a big fan. I know these are knockoff, but they come on the same sort of runner. As the 3.0 hands, they're probably just remolds and they've got a lot of flash on them. Probably so they probably are remolds, just straight up copies. They're just a pain. Pain to pose, pain to hold anything. I'm just I was happy. I'm happy with the 2.0 hands, to be perfectly honest. Not the interchangeable fingers ones, but the proper 2.0. So anyway, enough of me babbling, I'll move on to the accessories. Well, I've left them over here for some reason. Now obviously I can't do the fin funnels because I haven't made them and they're put away in a box. But I can do shield, bazooka and gun. The gun perhaps is other than the shield, a big big colour changes. This one's supposed to be black and white, it's about because I'm doing it in a in a regular Gundam, original Gundam colour scheme. There we are. Probably could have cleaned up that uh, panel line wash a bit better, but it just makes it look a bit dirtier, a bit more used. Yeah. Bazooka. Again, done in regular Gundam colours. Slides open. And unlike the Bandai one, this one will actually stay open and closed when it's on the back. Not that it clicks in very well. Not that I want to put extra weight on the back, given that it just falls apart. Now onto the shield. This shield. Because I'm painting it up, because this is all one piece, I had to mask it off for the yellow, mask it off for the red, and hopefully not get any on the white. If I just flip it over, you can see that that got very brittle and broke. So you can see, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera. Yeah, it's sort of red, red, red paint dust. don't know how it got on that side because I never even, I masked it all off completely and didn't spray red on this side so I have no idea how that happened but it did. And the last thing, right here, one of the Gundam uh, decal sets that I used, I've probably shown it to you before, had a big white white base right here yeah, that I had and I was going to put it right here. I'd cut it off the thing, the, the paper I set it down pretty much right here, was putting some of these other decals on in the shoulder, and just like that, poof, gone. I looked everywhere for it, I cleaned all around here, I've cleaned again and again, and I still haven't found it. So after that, I pretty much raged quit this kit. This kit had been a pain in the ass before then, and then that was basically the uh, final nail in the coffin. It was going to look beautiful with a nice big decal up there. It was going to make up for that horrible mismatched armor array. And, yeah. Anyway, that's basically it. I feel I've trolled you all sufficiently. Yeah. Anyway, before I go, I've got one thing I would like to say. Camera in my face. This will be my last video for the time being. This channel won't it won't end. It will just go on hiatus for a while. I'm moving countries. I'm moving from the UK to China for work. And China, absolutely fantastic for Gunpla. I've already got a shopping list sorted out. But this is a full-time job. And um, I can't promise anything. Not that my videos have ever, be, ever been regular or anything. But I just thought I'd let you know that... Uh, it might be a while before I see you guys again. So until then, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't think I'd ever get any subscribers, and now I'm over 60. So I do appreciate everything you've said and all your kind words. Um, so please feel free to uh, leave a kind word. 
of the if don't know if you can leave a kind word for this kit i certainly don't have any but it's been a pleasure pleasure seeing seeing you speaking with you entertaining you share my kits with you and i'll hopefully see you all again in the near future until then good luck and keep on gun playing